I cannot imagine a greater gift for a mother on Mother's Day. I cannot tell you how exciting the news made me, especially on a day when my goddaughter, Amber, is also being acknowledged for her brilliance. I wondered what I would have to say to all of these faces anticipating their next role in life. I thought and thought and thought, and no matter how long I did, nor how hard I did, the word challenge never left me. I wonder what it meant, actually. What did it mean to me when I said to my mother that I wanted to be an actress? Here was a woman who single-handedly reared three children, most of our education was in and through the church. We went to church on Sunday, of course. I sang in the choir, taught Sunday school, played the organ in the evening. Monday night, we had a special kind of young people's meeting. Tuesday night, we had a, a communications evening with children and adults. Wednesday night, Wednesday night was prayer night. Thursday night was uh, give the gift of service evening. Friday night, we had choir rehearsal. And Saturday, we cleaned the church. I vowed that if I ever lived to become a woman, that I would never put foot in a church again. <laughs> However, <laughs> that did not prove itself true. <laughs> I'm a staunch member of Abyssinian Baptist Church. So much so that one day, Reverend Butts uh, said to me, we would like you to give a speech. What kind of speech, I said. <laughs> we would like you to do the sermon for Women's Day. I can't do that. You asking me to step into your shoes <laughs> on stage in a pulpit and preach a sermon? That's true. Well, with a great deal of trepidation, I managed to do it. And was surprised at myself. It was a challenge. And I have learned through the course of my life not to fight against challenge. Fight for them. They are the manner that allows you to grow. 
In the course of my business, I have learned when I had any anxiety at all about a role that I was about to partake of. I went into it terrified, but I would not allow that terror to solve me. And once I was able to accomplish the mission, and I found myself stronger than I was before, I challenged the challenge. I was much stronger and knew that I could go on and accomplish anything. So my advice to you is to challenge the challenge that you're about to face. I had wonderful teachers in the course of my career. I had a mother who did not want me in this business, who told me that I couldn't live in her house and do that, whatever that was. And so I found a girlfriend who wore the same size dress I wore had an apartment and a job. And so I gave her a call and I said, can I come stay with you? My mother's putting me out. And so I went to a friend named Jackie. And while I lived there, I began to get a taste of what this new life I had chosen for myself would be like. One of the things that you have to remember is that there's nothing in this life that's easy. Nothing, I don't care what profession you choose, nothing is easy. And so that's why I assume this word challenge is your strengthener, challenge. Right? I know that I have made many friends along the way, and when I say friends, I mean the characters that I chose to play. I chose uh, these characters after I did a tour promoting the movie Sounder. When a journalist stood up in the midst of a press conference and said to me, I discover a bit of prejudice in myself while watching the movie Sounder. He said, I discovered that your son, who's played by Kevin, was calling his father, Daddy, as my son calls me, Daddy. Now, if you don't think that blew my mind, you are mistaken. For a moment, I couldn't speak. I, I was so floored by his statement. And so I questioned him. Are you saying that because this little black boy was referring to his father, who was a black man, as daddy, do you have any children, I asked? He said, yes, I have three sons. And what do they call you, daddy? I said, do you realize what you're saying? That this man was not human, nor was his son. Well, that was a revelation to me. And I made up my mind at that moment in time that I could not, 
I could not afford the luxury of just being an actress. And so I chose my career to deal with injustices. It was my platform to fight those types of issues. And in the course of that journey, I met a woman <laughs> who at the age of 110 stood up against all the forces of the South. This was her challenge. Because they had threatened her grandson with lynching. And she said to me one day, well, sir, let me tell you, life for me ain't been no crystal stairs now. It's at rocks in it and boards torn up. Places with no carpet on the floor, just bare. But all the time I've been carrying on. Carrying on, carrying on. And so, I'm asking you, don't you sit down on the steps, cause you find it's kinda hard. Don't you fall now. Cause I'm still climbing, honey. <laughs> I'm still climbing. And life for me ain't been no crystal scarce. God bless. <laughs>